Hey, what is going on, everybody? My name is Strix, and I'm here for another Everything Arc on my channel. Today, we have a ton of news to talk about. There were so many fobs dropped by 99 that ended up failing, and a few PG fobs did fail as well, but not as much as 99. So make sure you guys stay tuned, and you hear about everything going on in the art community. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share with everybody that may be interested in the art community. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you join my Discord in the pinned comment below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. One more thing before I do start it off, if you guys look in the top right right now, I want you guys to click that, it's a little card asking you who won the war this week. You guys can take your picks now and then basically at the end of the video, if you guys stay through the entire video, just vote who you guys think won the war with everything going on. And let me know down in the comments why. But with all that out of the way, our first story here, Farewell 99, their mesh space on 1049 was dev wiped along with their mesh space on their aberration, which is 775. And they had a pretty fat mesh space and they all ended up getting kicked out of their travel on 1049. I'm not sure how it ended up getting dev wiped, but uh, I believe it's a new uh, system they implemented a few days ago. Uh, Wildcard ended up making an update it was already out on PC, but apparently they have like a bot that tracks people go through the mesh, which in my opinion, I feel like it's sort of a bluff to get people to stop meshing because they literally had a mesh fob, which I'll talk about over on 1046, but I'm not positive from what I can see. I feel like it's honestly just something to add intimidation, but uh, if anybody wants to let me know how that works down in the comments, feel free. For our next one here, Aqualung's Mesh Vacuum Compartment Base over on server 345. I believe that's a Ragnarok was ended up or ended up getting dev wiped. Also, all teams lost in both situations and everything of the sort. That's really unfortunate. I don't understand how the devs actually made a system to basically track down people in the mesh, which like I said, I don't know if it's legit, but if anybody wants to let me know how that works, feel free next one here server 29 which is a 99 server was troll fob done by party time and panic gang soon after pg's troll fob on 29 was wiped and everything went down and then 100 savages and party time did not like that pg's fob ended up getting wiped so they came back very soon after set up another raid group and ended up going over there and wiping green obelisk and then very quickly making more ground towards carno island PG then lost one more forward fob and set up another one soon after with a tech behem or with tech behemoth gates and all that. So it was basically a full tech fob set up by PG. And then soon after, the days of fighting the countless titans and a mesh pro K fob, uh, 99 ended up meshing the pro K fob, but they ended up recovering and setting a new one back up. And then PG ended up wiping Carno Island. Carno Island was the main base on that server. And there's a few screenshots of people from 99 saying that it was never going to get wiped. They couldn't touch it. And from what I could see, it was 255 at a little bit or at some points, not much at all. But GG on both sides, there was really no meshing or much going on other than the Pro K fob being, I guess, meshed wiped through the side. And as I talked about last week, 48 was fobbed on by 99 problems and the server was at 255 at some points. But from what I could see, no meshing at all on either side took place. As far as I know, PG ended up flooding and getting about 40 bodies in, which brought the pop close to 150. Then PG pushed 99's forward fob from behind and took out the forward fob with salty endings and other 48 tribes that were on the front side of the fob with an ice titan. The main fob was then pushed underwater by PG and others. It was basically straight water PVP after the forward fob was uh, pushed. And then soon after, 99's fob was eventually wiped. The fob allowed PG to flood other servers and do massage damage, which I'll talk about. In the end, Hoblink ended up talking and soon after deleted the message saying that they used about 85 volts of AR rounds and about 10,000 element. And then obviously he soon deleted the message. But as of now, the 48 fob is completely gone and GG on 99 over there. You guys put up a hell of a fight in my opinion. I was over there for a little bit, but massive GG's to both sides over there. And for our next story here, 99 ended up setting up a troll fob on server 768 Aberration, which is a panic gang aberration. I'm not sure what sub-tribe owns that aberration, but I know 99 set up a troll fob on it quickly after 99's fob was pushed and there was nothing going on. And then soon after that, Black Genesis, which is a sub-tribe of Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang being the 99 Alliance, Ended up setting up a troll fob on the server 225, 225 being a PG server. 
and after a few times were pulled there was no damage being done over there so 99 ended up pulling off very quickly it took about an hour or two hours for each of those fobs they were pushed very very quickly penny gang ended up dropping a troll fob on 894 specifically donks being the tribe that ended up dropping the fob soon after pg joined in 894 being a glow gang main score server in an attempt to pull numbers from 48 which did end up working the fob was pushed the first night after about three hours of back and forth pvp it was pretty good pvp no 255 or anything of the sort no meshing going on from what i could see and then donks went over once again after the fob was pushed the first night the second night they came over with three titans pg pushed very heavily and had about 50 of 70 people which resulted in glow gang's main outer church cave defenses to be taken out the massive cliff plat they had out there was completely flattened by the forest titan which took most of the damage and then the ice titan came in soon after ended up taking it out and then after basically everything went down the 255 happened which it was purchased through a known dosser in the community by an unknown party i can't say whether 99 or pg ended up buying the dos but someone ended up buying the dos which a known dosser ended up coming in and 255 in the server for two hours which is what they purchased and then it was basically clean pvp on both sides after the fob lost momentum the fob was pushed and then that's about it it was gg on both sides other than a legend 30 party mesh which 99 did say they were getting mesh which i don't know if that's 100 percent accurate but uh gg on both sides over there next one here comes from server 1046 but while 99 was fobbed up on 48 99 decided to do a flood and fob on 1046 and after a mass ddos war from both sides pg allegedly put mesh beds under their own base under the tribe that 99 used but with a different lettering to try to make an excuse to mesh the fob which pg started meshing the fobs and then it was basically debunked that it was 99 under the base but pg continued meshing in my opinion i have no clue why pg kept meshing but it was obviously a pretty big battle after that 99 ended up setting up a mesh fob which resulted in pg it was basically a mesh war from that point 99 put down the mesh fob and the pg started meshing their main fob and everything of the sort and then after a five day battle the 99 fob ended up getting wiped 99 wasn't able to make it past the initial death wall of nowhere's base but they ended up meshing two turret towers in response to the pg meshing and from what i could see 1046 was untouched other than the two turret towers being lost and a bunch of spam like literally a fuck ton of spam was lost over on pg and 99 side over there for next one here glow gang and coalition ended up troll fobbing on server 697 after they lost the 48 fob they ended up going over to salty indians aberration which is 697 and ended up troll fobbing on it from what i know they only pulled one titan which was a desert titan but it was pushed off within about two hours and they didn't even open a channel on the pg discord from what i know they didn't ask for help at all but they ended up pushing that off very very quickly so that's really unfortunate for 99 over there they couldn't really take out any defenses at all from what i could see they didn't even do any damage with the desert titan but gg both sides over there it was hella clean pvp on 99 and pg side there was no ddos no mesh anything of the sort so good job over there guys and for our next story fallen dynasty was incited by kituo or kituwa i don't know how to say their name over on server 1006 and 704 1006 being i believe a extinction and 704 being their aberration resulting in a massive loss of cryo teams for fallen dynasty fallen dynasty is a pg sub tribe and the person who did it says they incited because black black being a member of salty ending said they couldn't join pg so that's really unfortunate for fallen dynasty over there we'll see how they respond to that and for our next story mandingos ended up flooding server 887 and the server hits 255 immediately when all three titans were pulled and they ended up doing a ton of damage to the server and the server ended up getting 255 for about two hours until 60 gang was able to get numbers and as of last night the troll fob was still going on with 60 gang and mandingos but as of now i believe it was pushed so gg both sides over there other than the ddos attack which i can't confirm nor deny it was 60 gang it's sort of obvious that it could be 60 gang obviously three titans were pulled and then the server hit 255 immediately after but they were still able to do a ton of damage even though it was 255 so gg demanding was over there
And over on server 784, a few Donks members ended up pulling a Ice and Desert Titan on PTSD's main server, which PTSD is a 99 sub tribe. And the Ice Titan didn't make it out of the fob, and the Desert did no damage besides soaking 200 bullets out of their, I guess, one of their main towers. It ended up dying fairly quickly, and then the troll was pushed off by PTSD. So good job, PTSD, over there. For our last story here, YKTD, which is 517 gang, ended up going over to server 225, which is a Lost Insurgent server. And they ended up going over there with 60 gang and a few other allies, not too many people. But they ended up blowing a cliff plat, one of, I guess, uh, Lost Insurgent's main cliff plats. And ended up getting a ton of loot out of it, of quite a few cryo tames, a few hundred C4, and a bunch of tech and turrets out of it. So GG over there. That is about it for everything ARC this week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, whether you're on the 99 and PG side. And I want to thank everybody for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys go in the top right now. And make sure you guys vote who won the war this week. Last week, 99 ended up winning. So GG 99 on that. But this week, I feel like, in my opinion, PG sort of did the bulk of the damage. While 99 ended up fobbing on 48. But GG everybody. And it was a great week in the ARC PvP scene. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Trix and adios.